So there are multitudes and multitudes of false Christians. False Christians, they practice willful, unbridled sin. And there are multitudes and multitudes of false Christians. They believe that they can live unholy and they will still go to God's holy heaven. And that's not what the scripture and God's word teaches. Scripture teaches us that we are to be holy because God is holy. I want to read this scripture in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19. And I'm going to go to verse 21. It says, Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Paul the Apostle said in Scripture that Anyone who is practicing the works of the flesh will not inherit the kingdom of God. And false Christians say that they don't have to repent from sin. False Christians say that they can just practice the works of the flesh. And they're going to still inherit the kingdom of God. But Paul says right here, and I'm going to read it again. He says, just as I also told you in time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So Paul's saying, I have already said this to you. I have said this to you before, that if you are practicing the works of the flesh, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. And false Christians say that they don't have to repent from sin. They don't have to turn away from the works of the flesh. But Paul teaches you have to. Hallelujah. People believe that they can just say, hey, I believe, and they can live in unbridled willful sin. Paul the apostle said, awaken to righteousness and sin not. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I, I speak this to your shame. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is holy. The Bible says narrow is the way that leads to life and only few find it. That's what the Bible says. Matthew chapter 7. Jesus said, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of God. But only him who does the will of the Father. Hallelujah. So there's going to be many people that's going to say, Lord, Lord. I believed, I believed, I believed in the death, burial, and resurrection, but they was practicing these works of the flesh right here in Galatians chapter 5 that Paul clearly said that if you practice these things, you will not inherit God's kingdom. That means you will go to hell. You will not go to God's holy heaven. There's going to be a lot of people that say, I believe but they are workers of sin. The Bible says to be holy. That's what the Bible says. But false Christians, they are against living holy. False Christians, they have blasphemous, filthy, cussing words coming out their mouth. And they practice sexual sin. They smoke them vape machines. They have outbursts of wrath. 
they are controlled by anger. Hallelujah. They practice idolatry. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that you will not inherit God's kingdom if you practice sin. That's what the Bible says. But you can preach God's word and false Christians, they still will live against God's holy word. There's a lot of people that's going to say, Lord, Lord, I believe in you. And God's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. You who practice sin, you who work iniquity. That's what the scripture says. Because they was practicing those works of the flesh that Paul said not to do. Paul said, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. So the Bible says, be holy. And if you're not going to be holy, you won't go to God's holy heaven. So you have to live holy. Real Christians live holy. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. Don't practice the works of the flesh. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and obey Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name.